Hey guys, I know I haven't posted on YouTube in a long time, but this is just a quick little video. I was going to do my transmission fluid in the TI. And um, so I tried to order some Liquamoly 75W80 fluid, and they only had one bottle of it. So I ended up buying this Redline MTL from, uh, from Amazon. Uh, this gearbox I have, I have a Getrag 250, and it takes 75W80 gear oil. And this one's uh, rated for BMW MT, no, LT MTF 1 spec, I think is what it's called. And um, LT MTF 1 is, or MTF 2 is backwards compatible with MTF 1. So you can use um, use this fluid in a Getrag 250. This is the five speed. There's just a plug. Um, on the side of the trans and on the bottom so you drain it fill it easier than an oil change but i thought i'd make a quick little video on this i hope that's water it's water okay so there's the plug hang on there's the plug on the bottom of the trans and then there should be a fill plug yeah right there there's a fill plug right next to it i'm pointing at it right there and then the drain plug is over here so i'm just going to take i guess i should take the fill plug out first and then take the drain plug out so it all drains out smoothly. And then I'm gonna put a tube in the fill plug and see if I can run it up to the engine bay. Um, that's gonna be a job though, so we'll see. Weather update, it's raining. And we got that funnel that I showed you earlier and a little piece of rubber tube that I fed down, or I had my dad hold it up here. And then I was able to feed this in to the plug on the bottom side, you can see my tube right here going into the fill plug. So I'm just gonna use that funnel I showed you and start putting the oil in. And by that, I mean I gotta drain the oil first, of course. Okay, so I got the drain plug out and, um, I mean, most of it's already drained, but I'm gonna let it sit here and drip for a minute just to make sure I got all the fluid out and then I'll start, uh, I'll put the plug back in and um, start funneling it in. And uh, this, both of the plugs are 17s and you will have a little bit of difficulty trying to get these plugs out just because, um, well, mainly the fill plug. The drain plug's not an issue if you have a ratchet and an extension. There's no no problem getting uh, getting that one broken loose. But the one on the side, um, next to the transmission tunnel here, there's a lot of there's a lot of clearance issues. So um, that may be a bit of a struggle. But um, but other than that, it's a super easy job. Okay. While I was down here, I found out that. Yeah, that old noise where it's like rubbing that's up here my uh the strut is actually touching the wheel um so i ordered a three millimeter spacer for um for both the fronts because my fitment is almost perfect right now so i just uh i just want to get it to where it clears the um struts red line manual transmission fluid going in so that is one full bottle down the funnel and it does not appear to be dripping just yet so i'm going to open the next bottle and see how much of that it takes they say these getrag 250s take 1.2 quarts and i poured just a little bit of that bottle in and it appears to be dripping so i guess we're full now so that's a manual transmission fluid change on a 98 bmw 318 ti with a getrag 250. I guess uh, I'm just going to lower it back down now and see how it drives. So I did want to film a bit of a follow-up after the transmission fluid change. Um, I did that yesterday, and so I've had, well, a day to, to drive it. I know it hadn't been very long, but um, I, uh, I changed it, and I noticed that on cold start this morning, um, it was much easier to get into fifth gear. Before, it almost felt like reverse, where it like it was really difficult to push over into fifth whenever it was cold. It wasn't a problem when it, once it warmed up. But um, that resolved uh, once I changed the fluid. Um, it used to be difficult to go from first to second um, when you're in red line at first and then you try to bang shift it into second. It would, um, you'd, you'd pretty much have to wait for the revs to fall enough to where um, the, the RPMs were right to go into second, which is still the, the case. Um, the fluid did not fix that, but I figure it's just worn out synchros do that, or maybe it's, it just feels like that normally, but it, it wouldn't surprise me. But, um, 
those are kind of my thoughts on uh, how the fluid change went. And I am about to film another video right here because my fuel injectors just came in. So I'm gonna start that, um, that process today. Um, I know I'm nasty, I just got back from work. Uh, I work at Valvoline, so uh, you get oily like this. Working in the pits, like, that's how it goes. You get oily, and I figure, well, I'm working on my car, so uh, no no harm in already being dirty, so so whatever. But um, that's, uh, that's a manual transmission fluid change on an E36. Hope you liked the video. See ya.